Hello, this is a bag of potatoes I've just brought up from the other end of the garden. It's a 40 litre bag. I brought it up in the wheelbarrow because those things are quite heavy. If you're going to move them about, the wheelbarrow comes in handy. Uh, it's got three seed potatoes growing in it, one sapo murder, and two Maris Piper. So we've got one red skin the sapo murder and two white skins, the Maris Pipers. We'll empty this out, we've got a bit of a competition going on now, haven't we? Red skins versus white skins. One red skin, two white skin. Maris Piper, the white skins. Sapo murder, the red skin. Okay, I'll just show you this before I go any further. That is what's left of the sapo murder. And I think as you can see, there's still growth there. Um, that potato is still alive, only just. But it's still there. These two potatoes, the other two potatoes, um, died back quite some time ago. The Maris Pipers. And I suspect we might have got a bit of blight in there, but I'm not too sure. And the only reason I suspect blight is that because this is a blight resistant potato and it's still showing some green leaves these guys aren't as, these guys aren't as blight resistant um, so I don't really know what to expect there other than I've got my uh, faithful gardening assistant with me, Molly and uh, I expect you'll see her dodging in and out of the shot from time to time right, let's have a look Yeah, right on cue. Okay, just before we go any further, I'll put this basket here and put the potatoes in as we find them, shall we? And then we'll sort out what's what um, in terms of variety after we get them all out. Rubbish. And go in that wheelbarrow. What do you think? Well, they're all managed paper so far. That's the only sap home here so far. Wow. Sap home has got a lot of catching up to do. She's got to win this competition. You say that? Sap or meter? Eh? Maris Piper? Blimey. Right. Let's just pop these guys out. going to call this the Sapo murder disaster for the look of this. What do you think? This could be the smallest haul of Sapo murder ever recorded on film. Wow, I can't believe it. What do you think Molly? Even Molly can't believe it. Is a surprise, isn't it? Hey, excuse me. That is a surprise. I did not expect that. Let me tell you. I expected quite the opposite, actually. Because Sapo Murder looked as though it was um, still growing, and the other guys looked as though they were uh, toast, so to speak. That's it. We're going to get no more. Blimey, would you look at that? <laughs> There's the sapo meter. 
Let's get the ticket. Excuse me, Molly. Hey, hey! That's one sap or metre less. So the hope I didn't deafen you there. Maddie's paper. Sap or metre. Hey, keep out, Molly, come on. Well, he got three and you've eaten one. <laughs> right, how's that? Maddie's paper, sap or metre. Blimey. Hey, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Right, Molly, I'm going to have to move these now because I want to weigh them and I don't want you nicking them before I get them weighed. Okay. I was going to weigh these guys separately because I thought they had a competition on my hands. Uh, but I haven't. <laughs> Sapo Mira was not at the races. Hey, watch this, watch. Watch this. That's a Sapo Mira. Okay. I'm not going to get to test these. So I don't want, want to know what these guys will taste like. There aren't any. Only tell me what that tastes like. Any good? Well, she's walloped it. So it can't have been bad, can it? Right. Let's get these guys on the scales. I'm guessing, well, two pounds, two pounds, usually a good weight, isn't it? Molly, you're not in the way of those scales here. Ah, that's it, sit down there. Look, I'm going to pop around the other side of the camera just to make sure these scales are in shot. Don't you touch anything. Ah, good girl. Right, sit down. Sit. That's it. Yep, we're okay. I think these scales are in shot. Oh, two pounds, that's okay. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, I've got three more bags of Sapo Mira, Central Sapo Mira. Let's see, there's it, just look. <laughs> the, the one and only Sapo Mira. Um, I sent four of these guys last year just because they were blight resistant, and uh, this is the first time I've grown them. But if this is the best they can do, it'll be the last. But anyway, I've three bags of Sapo Mira still to come. We'll put that on the top, shall we? Ticket going there. Support that ticket. How's that? Maddie's Piper, what have we got? Just over three pounds, eh? Nearly three and a half pounds. So we'll make it, I don't know, one and a half pound per set. That went in, one and a half pound came out. And they do look a nice clean potato. Um, so we're happy with Maris Piper. We're disappointed with Sapo Murder. But Sapo Murder lives to fight another day because we've got three more bags of Sapo Murder to, uh, to look at. Um, so when we're ready for sap or murders, when we're ready for more potatoes, we'll empty those out and we'll see if sap or murder can redeem itself. But at the minute, uh, it's a washout. Um, so this is homegrown veg, isn't it, Moll? This is homegrown veg, and my mate Molly, signing out. <laughs>